Hi, welcome back. Thank you for stopping by. Today we are going to be making beef cabbage stew Ghana style. The list of all the ingredients is going to be in the description below. Under the video, I will start by steaming my meat. I will add some ginger, garlic, some steak seasoning, and I will rinse my bowl, seasoned bowl, with some three tablespoons of water. You don't want to add water to this, the meat because it's going to generate some fluid during cooking. I add in some salt. I'm going to cover and let it come to a boil. It's boiling now, so I'm going to give it a stir and let it cover it and let it cook fully. After which, we'll be frying our meat. You can just use it as steam as it is done or you can fry it. I'm going to be frying it, but not in oil. I'm going to be using an air fryer to fry it. I'm using the Power XL air fryer. This is not a sponsored video in any way, but I just like how the air fryer does the job. So I'm pulling the basket. I'll pour my meat in and I'll put it back and set it to set it to the temperature and time I want. So I'm going to be air frying this for 13 minutes. And after 13 minutes, our meat is done to perfection. It looks great. And this helps down, cut down some fat consumption. It is a healthier option for sure to me. So I like this so much. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut some, chop some onions and some carrots. And I'll be cutting or chopping my cabbage as well. I don't want the cabbage to be too chunky, so I'm just going to chop into medium size. About this size. In a pan, I have half cup of oil. I'm going to add onion seed and let it toast for one minute. And I'll add my onions and I'll let the onion cook for two minutes. I'm going to add some tomato paste. I will stir and let the tomato paste cook for three minutes. After which I'll add some ginger and garlic. And let it cook for about a minute and I'll add my tomato. So I'm going to be using fire roasted tomato here fire roasted diced tomato you can use any tomato of your choice i'm using the fire roasted one because it just give a light the taste it gives to any dish so you can use any tomato that you have i'll give it a stir and let it cook for 10 minutes so i'll be adding some curry powder and some black pepper and some stock from the beef, the beef stock a little bit. And we want to keep this stew as dry as possible because the cabbage has a lot of water in it already. So stir and let it cook again for about five minutes. You want to reduce the stew to make it dry before we add our cabbage. So I'm now adding my, my meat and I'll let the meat simmer for two minutes then we can add our cabbage so after two minutes then the stew looks dry enough so we are going to add our cabbage after adding the cabbage i'm going to cook for only about three minutes the heat is going to do the cooking so after three minutes i'm going to turn off my heat and our stew is going to be ready i want my cabbage still to be fresh with that vibrant color so i'm not going to overcook my vegetables now i'm not going to overcook the cabbage so now i'm going to be you at this point you add your cabbage the carrots excuse me and the onions as well and after three minutes it is done you can serve it with rice or some potato or some plantain and thank you so much for watching this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up bye